today we'll be talking about the changes in iOS 8.1.2. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I don't want to be upfront when I say that I'm a little bit disappointed by iOS 8.1.2. I was hoping for more bug fixes for Wi-Fi or other things, but as I read the changelog in a second, you're going to see that iOS 8.1.2 just really, I mean, it blatantly isn't a big update. It's around 25 to 30 megabytes, I believe, depending on your device. Of course, it could be 25, it could be 28, it could be 26 all depending on the device that you are currently using, but the changelog for the day's update reads as follows. This release includes bug fixes and addresses a problem where ringtones purchased through the iTunes store may have been removed from your device. To restore these ringtones, visit itunes.com slash restore dash tones from your iOS device. And then of course, like always, we've got the security link right down below. But this is really good news for anybody who's had issues with losing ringtones because if you have had issues, once again, head over to iTunes.com slash restore dash tones on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. It'll probably ask you to sign in your account or just do a few little things just so that you can get everything back to the way it should be. Now, personally, I have had no issues with losing ringtones just because I'm not sure if I've ever bought a ringtone. I might have bought one when I got my iPhone 4S around Christmas time three or four years ago. But I definitely haven't bought one in the past couple of years, so I don't even remember what the ringtone was. And it's probably really irrelevant at this point in time compared to the music I listened to then to what I listen to currently. So I have no like opinion on this. I can't tell you if this restore thing works. I can't tell you that you should do it right now because really I haven't had any interaction with ringtones for quite some time. Now, as for bug fixes in this update, iOS 8.1.1 to me was already extremely stable. So, of course, if there's more bug fixes in iOS 8.1.2, that's going to be something really good. Now, as to whether or not you should be updating to iOS 8.1.2 is, of course, an entirely different question. And I want to give you kind of my standard answer, but just a little bit tweaked for iOS 8.1.2. If you are not jailbroken and you don't know what jailbreaking is and you have no interest in what jailbreaking could be for you, definitely go ahead and update right now at this point in time, settings, general, software update. Head over and update to iOS 8.1.2 because it's only going to make your device better than it was before with all these bug fixes. And if you had problems with ringtones, definitely this is a good thing too. However, if you're like me and you were jailbroken or are currently jailbroken, I should say, on iOS 8.1.1, do not update to iOS 8.1.2 just yet because it's not been 100% confirmed just yet that the Taiji iOS 8.1.1 jailbreak works on 8.1.2. If you actually try to jailbreak 8.1.2 right now using the Taiji tool, it won't let you because it's coded to only jailbreak a few specific firmwares. So definitely hold off on updating to 8.1.2 until we get official confirmation that it's okay to update and that the jailbreak still works. Because people have said it's probably going to work, they're just not 100% sure yet. As you can see, I, Adam Insull, I believe is his name from Twitter, very prominent figure in the jailbreak community said, yes, the big kernel bug was not patched, but you should probably just wait in case something is changed that we just haven't seen yet. And guys, that's pretty much iOS 8.1.2. If you enjoyed watching the video, feel free to leave a like down below and of course subscribe if you want to see more content relating to future iOS updates just like this. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS and I'll catch you guys in my next video.